Welcome to Ground Control and another needful thing. I haven't done one of these in a while and I typically create one of these videos when I have found something that I need and I want to pass it on to you. A lot of you may already have this in your inventory and it's Elmer's acid-free rubber cement. I would make sure that it's the acid-free type, whatever type you get. I'll have links to this specific product in the show notes. I think I have three different vendors, links to three different vendors for this product. And the reason that I, that I use this is I was uh, doing some review flights on this Volantex P51 Mustang and the retaining bolt on the main wing, holds the main wing on the fuselage, had worked its way all the way out. It actually by the time that I had landed, I could not find that bolt anywhere. Uh, luckily, they put a spare one in the kit, hardware kit. Normally, I would use something like Threadlock, but I read online that the chemical that is in Threadlock will weaken plastic. So, I don't use Threadlock in any areas where I have a metal bolt that's threading into plastic. So I was thinking, what, what can I use in its place? And so I came across the rubber cement. And so on the retaining bolts, what I do is I, it has a little brush applicator and I just coat the last like 10 millimeters of the bolt with the rubber cement. And then I put a little dab of it underneath the head of the bolt and then run the bolt in. And that will allow me to take that bolt back out if I need to. But this stuff stays flexible, it absorbs vibration, and that should prevent these metal bolts from, from backing back out of the plastic. And I have a lot of these planes that where the components are bolt-on, they're not glue-on anymore. And, and I like that. I would rather do that than use glue. But the problem is, is that especially on control surfaces like the elevators or the vertical stabilizers where the servos are constantly pulling pulling and pushing against that control surface, eventually those bolts work loose. And, and I've had that happen a few times. So use something like this in place of the thread lock because you don't want to damage the plastic that the, that the metal bolt is threading into. So there's another needful thing for you. And this is what I'm using to, to lock those bolts in so they don't vibrate out but also, you know, I'll be able to back them back out when I need to. So there you go. There's a, there's a tip for you, another needful thing. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the air.